Banya de Luca in the early 1860s. It has hot mineral baths and casinos, and it's become a playground for the rich and famous. The atmosphere is worldly and sophisticated. Yet the flames of revolution approach from the south as Garibaldi aims to unify the country by force. The Giovaninis are general merchants in Banya de Luca, but the young Giovanini men, eight brothers, are getting ready to carve their place in the world. They are educated and some are adventurous, casting their eye to the broader global stage. Industrialization is grinding its way across Europe and it's no place for young entrepreneurs. And America is under the black cloud of civil war. Yet there's still the memory of trade empires and vast wealth in the Italian city-states. When Italian entrepreneurs sailed the seas to gather and trade the world's goods, Venice, Genoa, Lucca, for centuries, they were all hubs of business activity and wealth. All this inspired three sons of a general merchant to choose a life in the import-export trade. But where might their fortunes lie? Many Italian migrants of the day are choosing South America and Australia. But the Giovaninis choose an entrepreneurial adventure in the far east of British North America. It will be no easy feat to set up an import-export business on the rocky shores of Newfoundland. But the Giovanini brothers are bold and determined to eke out success in this beautiful, yet cold and unforgiving environment. Join us for this multi-generational look at the Giovaninis and their kin. Far from the hot springs of Italy, we see their early struggle and success and we explore the legacy of these young Italian entrepreneurs and the common threads of inheritance that help shape succeeding generations and their destiny.